हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अ चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 5 ऑफ क्लास 5 ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज दैट इज सीड्स एंड सीड्स सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स टर्न टू पेज नंबर 43 टेल एंड राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज इन व्हिच बाउल डिड द सीड्स स्प्राउट What difference did you see between this bowl and with other bowls? So the answer is seeds could sprout in bowl two only. In the bowl two, the seed got both air and water, and hence would sprout. On the other hand, in bowl one, only water was available, and hence the seeds could not sprout. In the bowl three, there were no water and no air, and hence seed could not sprout. For the question number two says, why did Gopal's mother tie the chana in the damp cloth? So the answer is, Gopal's mother tied the chana in damp cloth so that the seeds could get both, that is, air and water. For the question number three says, when you split the holes, masoor, you get me, that is, masoor dal, but then you cannot sprout me. Can you think why? So the answer is. It happens because the sprouting capacity of masoor is lost after it is split. Now turn to page number forty-five. Find out. Question number one says, "How long did it take for the plant to come out from the soil?" Answer is, "It took about a week for a plant to come out from the soil." Second question says, "What was the difference in the height of the plant on the first and the second day?" Answer is, "The height increased by." About half a centimeter. For the question number three says, on which day did the height of the plant increase the most? Answer is on the third day. The height of the plant increased the most. Fourth, did new leaves come out of the plant every day? Answer is yes. New leaves come out of the plant every day. For the fifth question says, was there any change in the stem of the plant? Answer is yes. The stem become thicker and thicker by each day. Now discuss. Question number one says, which seeds took the most number of days for the stem to come out of the soil? Answer is seeds of sesame, that is til. Further, second question says, which seeds took the least days to come out of the soil? Answer is seeds of mustard, that is sarso. For the question number three says, which seeds did not grow at all and why? Answer is all seeds grow well in the presence of water and air. If either of these two factor is absent, then the seed cannot grow. Now question number four says, did anyone's plant dry up or turn yellow? Why did this happen? Answer is yes. Some students' plants dry up or turn yellow. This happened because the proper amount of water and air was not provided. Further, moving to question number five, it says, "What would happen if the plants do not get water?" Answer is, they would turn yellow or even dry up. Now, straight from your heart, question number one says, "What is inside the seed?" Answer is, inside the seed there is cotyledons and embryos. Second question says. How does the big plant grow from a tiny seed? Answer is the seed germinates to produce a seedling. The seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the ground and grows into big plant. Now turn to page number forty-six. Find out. Question number one says, Do some plants grow without seeds? Answer is yes. The some plants grow without seeds. Now think. Here question number one says. Did you keep soft and cumin that is jeera in your list? Answer is soft and cumin that is jeera seeds were also taken in the list. Second, which was the smallest seed and which was the biggest seed in your collection? Answer is cumin was the smallest seed and mango was the largest seed in my collection. Now turn to page number fifty. Let's discuss what we have learnt. Question number one says, Rina has drawn this picture of the seeds sprouted by her. What do you think the seeds need for sprouting? 
write in your own words how would Rina's seat look if they did not get the things needed. Show by drawing picture. So guys, this you can do it yourself. Further question number two says, how do seats spread too far off place? Write in your own words. So the answer is, first, seeds are spread by birds, animals, air and water. Many animals eat fruit and throw the seeds. Thus, these animals help in spreading seeds. Second, some seeds stick to the fur of animals and thus are transported to other places. Third, some seeds have thin hair and are lightweight. These seeds float on air and travel to other places. Fourth, some seeds float on water and thus travel to far off places. So guys, I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, Please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Same Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.